Okay, here is another Bronx YG story. We are going to detail the acts of the Morris Avenue Gunners and also, the split, between the YGs and the CAC gang, resulting in the birth of the OGs. Many of you may be loosely familiar with parts of this story, as we covered some of it before. Members from this side, are responsible for the death of Noah, and allegedly, Yellow, back in 2020. We don't want to be repetitive, but before we get there, and for the sake of the newcomers, we have to do a little background. The YG's gang started in or about 2003 as a group of young men who socialized together and were involved in street-level crime. Among the founders of the YG's gang were Juther Perez, a.k.a. Juu Hef, who was from the Mott Haven houses in the Bronx, and Nathaniel, a.k.a. Juntao, who was from the Melrose houses in the Bronx, among others. The YGs eventually grew to become a substantial criminal organization, with sets of gang members who have engaged in criminal activities in the Bronx, Manhattan, Brooklyn, and elsewhere in New York City. In recent years, the YG's gang was comprised of sets based in, among other places, several housing developments in the Bronx. The MHG set, which stands for Mott Haven Gunners or Most Hated Gunners, based in the Mott Haven houses. The MAG set, which stands for Morris Avenue Gunners, based on Morris Avenue near the Maria Lopez Plaza and Christopher Court's apartment complexes. The 63rd YG's, which is a subset of the Morris Avenue YG's based in an apartment complex on 163rd Street between Morris and Teller Avenues. And the RPT, set based in the River Park Towers housing development. Those housing developments are squarely considered YG's territory, and a number of shootings and other violent conflicts have occurred when members of rival gangs have entered YG's territory. Terence, aka, Ta, was the fourth child in the family. His father was the anchor of the family, and an island of order in the chaos that racked the South Bronx in the 1990s. His father would pass when he was young which devastated his mom. From there, things were pretty unstable. His older brother, Tamer, who was 15 years older than him, served as sort of a father figure in his dad's absence. Ta joined the YG's gang at least as early as 2007, when he was about 13 or 14 years old, and he rose to become a supervisor of the overall gang by virtue of his position as a leading member of a set within the gang known as the Morris Avenue Gunners, or MAG, which was based on Morris Avenue near 151st Street. Although Ta was a leader of the Morris Avenue set of the YG's gang, he wasn't ranked top 5 yet. He did go on to recruit others into the Morris Avenue YG's set who followed suit. For example, Ta recruited Kareem, aka, Black, as his lieutenant. Once he entered the gang, Ta and several other YG's members, including, Black, Jason, aka, Tall J, Donovan, aka, Donnie G, Joseph, aka, Jojo, Arenzo, aka, Oe, and Solomon, aka, Dodie, among others, poured drugs into housing developments on Morris Avenue in the South Bronx through high-volume sales of crack cocaine. As a result of citizen complaints about the rampant drug dealing in the community and the violence that came with it, the New York City Police Department used undercover detectives to make about 85 controlled purchases of crack cocaine from several of the dealers working for this crack sealing operation from November 2011 through December 2012. The YG's gang also had sets from the Patterson Houses, the Melrose Houses, and the Jackson Houses in the Bronx, but gang members from those housing developments eventually defected from the YG's to form their own factions and have been warring with the YG's gang. For example, the Cortland Avenue crew, CAC, whose members operated primarily in and around the Melrose and Jackson houses near Cortland Avenue, is one of the factions which used to be part of the YG's gang, and later defected from, and went to war with the YG's. Until in or about 2010, the YG's gang included the group referred to now as the CAC, which was comprised primarily of young men from the smaller neighborhood gangs such as, God's Favorite Children, GFC, and the original gangsters, OGs. Beginning in or about 2010, however, the affiliation between the YG's and the CAC began to deteriorate as the two gangs began to commit acts of violence against one another. The rivalry between the two gangs began to foment on or about June 20, 2010, when Tamer Brown, the older brother of leading Morris Avenue YG's member, Ta, was shot and killed in the Bronx. Tamer was shot five times, four times in the back and once in the head, which shattered the skull and penetrated his brain. He was pronounced dead on arrival at Lincoln Hospital. No one was ever apprehended or charged in Tamer's killing. 
Ta and other YG's members believed, however, that members of a rival gang, Cortland Avenue crew, were responsible for committing the murder. Their suspicion exacerbated tensions between the two groups. Despite assurances from several CAC members that they had nothing to do with the Brown murder, tensions between the CAC and the YGs mounted, culminating in an altercation on or about August 6, 2010 in which a CAC member shot YG's member Ta in the stomach. A few hours later, on or about August 7, 2010, when YG's member, Michael Maldonado, aka, White Mike, went to confront the CAC member who had shot Ta, the CAC member shot Maldonado in the head and nearly killed him. Following these back-to-back -back shootings of YG's members by the same CAC member, the CAC defected from the YG's gang, forming the OGs and the two gangs began a war against each that has continued to the present. Anthony, aka, Ant Flock. Around age 10, Ant Flock and his family came back to the BX after living in Pennsylvania for a four-year stint. His mom's wasn't trying to be on public assistance, so she attended college and worked in the evenings. Ant held it down, assisting his moms with the care of his younger siblings including his younger brother, Day Day. When he arrived in the Bronx, his neighborhood was gang infested. Anthony was a rather small, naive kid from a small town in Pennsylvania. He rapidly became the target of school bullies and gangs from other housing projects. Within the next two years, between the ages of 10 and 12 he was assaulted no less than three times by gang members from other housing projects. He was perceived as a rival by the mere fact of where he lived. Ant Flock was a victim of crime, where he was attacked and beaten, treated at the emergency room, and lost some teeth. In another incident when he was with his grandmother leaving the doctor's office, a group of individuals attacked him. He managed to shepherd his grandmother to safety, and then ran as fast he could to escape the attackers. In the third incident Anthony was out on an errand for his mother. A group of young men attacked him, took his coat and footwear. Anthony ran home without a coat and barefoot in the winter snow. At about the same time, his father was arrested and convicted of a drug offense. He was sent to jail for five years. It was at this time when Ant would no longer be a victim and do whatever he had to do to protect himself from harm. At least as early as 2009, when Ant Flock was about 14 years old, he and several others from his neighborhood in the vicinity of 163rd Street joined the YG's gang. Later, Ant Flock and others were recognized as their own subset of the Morris Avenue YGs, headed by Ta, known as the 63rd YGs, or 63rd, headed by William, aka, Rel. They also identify themselves as the 63rd Yard Gang. After joining the YGs gang, Ant Flock stored and possessed firearms for use by other YGs gang members such as Rel. For example, on or about February 20, 2010, when he was 14 years old, one such firearm was recovered from Ant Flock after police arrested him in front of 1175 Morris Avenue in the Bronx. Rel. Rel, who had his own harsh upbringing, had been joined the YG's gang around the same time as Ant Flock and the two became close. Although people called him Rel, others know him as Tom Cruise. Yup, the guy from Mission Impossible. Rel and Ant Flock had another close associate went on drills with them and other YG members. Deli Del was a high-ranking member of the YGs under Tyrone, aka Mayo, one of the original top five YGs and head of the RPT set of the YGs. Since he was 13, Deli Del has spent most of his life in either juvenile or adult prisons. Prior to age 13, his childhood was nothing short of horrific. His father was frequently absent due to his being incarcerated for violent crimes such as robbery and rape. While young, his moms got away from his abusive pops and took refuge in the shelter. For Deli Del, the streets were a place he could go to escape the violent turmoil in his home. However, the streets were hardly a safe haven. In essence, he traded one bad influence for another. Deli Del began smoking marijuana when he was 11 years old and the gang became his surrogate family. Deli Del has been committing violent crimes since he was a juvenile, including a murder that he committed as a young teenager. Specifically, on February 26, 2005, when Deli Del was 13 years old, he stabbed Edwin Osu Hammond to death with a kitchen knife. Deli Del and a co-conspirator attempted to rob Osu Hammond of his cell phone in front of his apartment building in the Bronx. Osu Hammond, who was 15 years old, died in the lobby of his building, where his mother found him. 
Belly Dell was arrested at the age of 14 in 2006 and was initially charged as an adult for the murder in Bronx County Supreme Court. On or about June 15, 2007, as a result of a plea agreement between Delhi Dell and the Bronx County District Attorney's Office, his murder case was transferred to Bronx County Family Court, where he was adjudicated a juvenile delinquent for the murder and was sentenced to the custody of New York's Office of Children and Family Services for five years. Delhi Dell was released in or about May 2010. Shortly after his release from custody for murdering Osu Hammond, Delhi Dell joined the YG's gang. That was in the summer of 2010, when Delhi Dell was about 18 years old. Delhi Dell quickly rose in the ranks of the gang to hold senior positions in the sets of the YG's gang based in RPT and the 63rd set of the YG's. He was also given a leading position in the YG's set further north in the Bronx, known as the Gucci Gunners or 2G's set of the YG's. On or about November 22, 2010, Delhi Dell lured several members of the rival gang, referred to herein as the Cortland Avenue Crewer CAC, to a location in the vicinity of 163rd Street between Teller and Park Avenues, where several of Delhi Dell's fellow YG's members, Ant Flock, Rel, Morris Mack, and Pino, planned to attack the rival CAC members. The bigger homies, Tall J and Ta, were allegedly present as well. About a city block from a public middle school, a shootout ensued between several YG's members who participated in the attack and several rival CAC members. During the shootout, rival CAC member, Hump, was hit and nearly killed. The bullet ruptured his scrotum, struck his femoral artery, and broke his right femur and left hip, nearly killing him. A YG's member under Rel, Morris Mack, was also hit, including Rel himself. Following the shooting, they drove to Mott Haven, where Tall J expressed his frustrations with Delhi Dell for not killing Hump. Rel was hospitalized at Lincoln Hospital for approximately three weeks, underwent surgery and completed physical therapy. He was shot in the hip and the ankle, which was shattered and required a metal rod to repair it. On January 24, 2011, MAG leader, Ta, and numerous other YG's members, including Reem Black the Lieutenant, Delhi Dell, Tall J, among others, went mobbing into rival CAC territory in the Bronx, looking for rival CAC members to attack. As Ta and the rest of the mob of YG's members approached, a small group of rival CAC members were standing in front of a bodega on Cortland Avenue near 155th Street, across the street from the Melrose Housing Projects. Upon noticing the approaching mob of YG's members, the CAC members ran inside the bodega, and most of them barricaded themselves in a storage area in the back of the bodega. Ta and the numerous other members of the mob of YG's members entered the bodega and proceeded to the back of the store, where they found Payne, a rival CAC associate, who was unable to find a hiding spot within the store. Ta conspired with several of his YG's confederates to rob him. As part of this robbery, several of Ta's fellow YG's members, including Black and Oe, proceeded to assault Payne and robbed him of his winter coat and other items. Immediately after this robbery, Ta and others exited the store and walked about a block south on Cortland Avenue until they encountered an individual, whom they later learned was Dyke Etheridge, leaving a store at the corner of Cortland Avenue and 154th Street. Etheridge was a member of the YG's gang who happened to live in rival CAC territory, but Ta and other members mistakenly assumed that Etheridge was a rival CAC member because his face was covered by a winter hat and ski mask. Ta and numerous other YG's members ran to this corner to confront Etheridge. Several of the YG's began punching and kicking Etheridge. While Etheridge tried to flee, Black fired several shots at Etheridge, one of which pierced through the area of Etheridge's right hip and groin and punctured his right iliac artery, causing Etheridge to bleed to death. In or about April 2011, Delhi Dell and another YG's member, not charged in this case, went to rival CAC territory, where each of them brandished a gun and attempted to fire gunshots at rivals. They were in the vicinity of Cortland Avenue near 154th Street, but their guns did not fire. But two months later, on or about June 17, 2011, Delhi Dell was arrested for possession of a firearm on a public city sidewalk on 3rd Avenue between 167th and 168th Street. A day before Independence Day, on a Sunday in 2011, Ta and several of the YGs under him from the Morris Avenue Gunners agreed to go put in work. This was merely as part of the YG's war against the CAC or OGs. 
Initially, in the afternoon or evening that day, Christopher, aka, Light Eyes, went on a bicycle from YG's territory on Morris Avenue by 151st Street to rival territory on Park Avenue near 158th Street, where Light Eyes was supposed to shoot a rival, but did not. Light Eyes rode back to YG's territory around Maria Lopez Plaza and informed his supervisor, Ta, that he did not see anyone worth shooting. Dissatisfied, several Morris Avenue YG's members, namely, Ta, and his lieutenant, Black, as well as Donnie G and another YG's member, decided to return to rival Cortland territory and complete the shooting. At approximately 8.14 p.m., Morris Avenue YG's members left on bicycles from Maria Lopez Plaza in the vicinity of Morris Avenue and 151st Street. Seven minutes later, this group of four YG's bicyclists arrived in rival Cortland territory on Park Avenue near 156th Street, where numerous people from the neighborhood were outside for cookouts and other celebrations in the lead-up to the 4th of July holiday that year. Ta and his confederates proceeded north on Park Avenue towards 158th Street, where rival CAC member, Jamal, aka, Murder Mel, was standing in front of the Sweet Corner Bodega on the corner. From his bicycle, Ta shot Mel in the stomach and arm. Although Mel was badly wounded, he fled the area and managed to survive this attack. After shooting Mel, Ta turned around to travel south and return to where he and the other Morris Avenue YG's members had come from by Maria Lopez Plaza. While traveling south on Park Avenue, Ta saw what he believed to be a group of people running at him from an apartment building on the east side of Park Avenue between 156th and 158th Streets. Ta fired shots at them, one of which hit Curtis Smith in the head, a bystander who was sitting outside with family and friends in front of the apartment building to enjoy the pre-Independence Day festivities in the neighborhood that day. The bullet broke through Smith's forehead, pierced through his brain, and lodged at the rear of his head without exiting his skull. Smith remained in critical condition on life support at a nearby hospital for almost a week, but the injuries that were inflicted upon him eventually took his life. Smith was declared brain dead on July 8, 2011, following which he was taken off life support and died. Smith was 23 years old. Immediately after shooting Smith, Ta and his three YG's confederates, Black, Donnie G, and another dude, rode their bicycles back to YG's territory near Morris Avenue and 151st Street. Ta continued to the Patterson housing projects in the South Bronx, where Ta met with several high-ranking YG's members, including Juther Perez, the overall leader of the YG's gang, as well as a YG's set leader who has become a cooperating witness and Tall J, in Jay's apartment in the Patterson houses. At the apartment, Ta informed those other YG's members about the shootings of Jamal and Smith and the events leading up to those shootings. A week later, on July 10, 2011, police arrested Ta and Light Eyes, and they were subsequently charged by the Bronx District Attorney's Office with murdering Smith and attempting to murder Mel. This state case against Ta and Light Eyes was based on information provided by two civilian eyewitnesses to the shooting, who at one point identified Ta as the shooter of Mel and Light Eyes as the shooter of Smith. Ta and Light Eyes were remanded on the state murder case to a jail on Rikers Island in New York City pending trial. On at least one occasion, while Ta was in jail there, two of his fellow YG's members visited him at the jail, and during this meeting, Ta told these two fellow YG's members, in substance and in part, that the district attorney's office got the things messed up with Light Eyes as the shooter of Smith, and that as a result, Ta and Light Eyes were going to beat the case. As Ta had predicted, after he had been in state custody for about three years, the state civilian eyewitnesses recanted, Ta and Light Eyes were released on bail, and the state charges against them were eventually dismissed. As such, Ta nearly got away with murder. In or about 2011, in the Bronx, Deli Dell and a fellow YG's member robbed a drug dealer of approximately 100 grams of crack cocaine and approximately 100 grams of heroin. Following the robbery, Deli Dell and the accomplice had a third YG's member sell the stolen crack and heroin for them, and all three of them split the cash proceeds from the sale of the stolen crack and heroin. On October 14, 2011, Deli Dell pleaded guilty to the gun charge he caught a couple months earlier. This resulted in a sentence of nine months of imprisonment. Deli Dell was released on or about December 16, 2011. There were many crimes, drug selling, conspiring to murder and murders committed by YG members operating in the Bronx. Mike, aka, Mighty, Rushard, aka, Hooley, and Tyson, just to name a few. 
We will get into their stories in another video. This brings us to the death of Noah. On or about April 16, 2012, a group of YG's members, Rel, Deli Del, and Flaka, and others, were hanging out at a location in the Bronx, got drunk, and began arguing amongst themselves about who among them had put in the most work for the YG's. This group of YG's members went to rival OG's territory to settle their dispute. They were in the vicinity of the Melrose Project on their way to the Mott Haven Projects, when they saw Noah and Polo, known members of a rival street gang inside the Melrose Projects. When they caught up with Noah, Ant Flock was the one to first punch Noah causing him to fall to the ground. The other YGs in the group, including Reller Tom Cruise and Deli Dell, surrounded Noah and continued assaulting Noah. Ant stepped back to act as the lookout for the police and Noah's fellow gang members, who would likely be on their way to defend Noah and retaliate against them. They fled, with at least one of them yelling out, OGK, disrespecting the OG's gang. Following the stomping, Rel and several of his confederates exited the Melrose houses and traveled south, primarily Morris Avenue, to YG's territory in the Mott Haven houses, located between 141st and 139th Street. There, they bragged about what they had just done. This boasting by Rel and his confederates continued. First, in the minutes prior to the Noah murder, Deli Del posted on Facebook that he was getting smacked with others from Morris Avenue, meaning Rel and other YG's members from the 63rd YG subset of the Morris Avenue YG set. Second, both Rel and Deli Del posted statements to Facebook on the following morning acknowledging that they were hungover and had been drinking together. Third, and also on the morning following Noah's murder, Deli Del posted the following, Henny and Alizé is two dangerous drinks to mix, had me feeling like Incredible Hulk. On or about July 14, 2012, three months after the Noah murder, Rel posted a photograph of several people sitting together, with one of the group members holding a bottle of Hennessy, and another holding a bottle of Alizé. The comments to that photograph include the following, Ant wrote, Ninjas know what happened last time we drunk that, to which Rel responded, we was trying to make a part two. Ant Flock and Rel then wrote to each other, LMYGAO, meaning, laughing my YG's SS off. Ant Flock using his Facebook account name, Nino Brown, engaged in the following exchange with a Facebook account user named Bagoon BD. Rel only continued his streak of violence in the wake of his murder of Noah. On or about November 10, 2012, Rel, accompanied by two other YG's members, fired shots at a rival gang member in the vicinity of East 166th Street and Grant Avenue in the Bronx. Rel and his accomplices were arrested immediately after this shooting, and one of Rel's accomplices was in possession of a 38 caliber revolver with a defaced serial number. On or about November 16, 2013, Deli Del carried a handgun to a location in rival CAC territory in the vicinity of 158th Street and Park Avenue in the Bronx, where co-conspirators, who were members of the Murdermore Gangsta's gang, MMG, which was allied with the YG's gang, fired several rounds from that handgun and another firearm in an attempt to kill rival CAC members, resulting in a bystander being shot and injured. Prior to the shooting, Deli Del met with other participants in the shooting in an apartment in MMG territory to plan the shooting. During this planning meeting, Deli Del bragged about his participation in stomping rival CAC member Noah to death over a year earlier. On or about November 26, 2013, Deli Del fired gunshots at rival CAC members and associates while they were driving in car near the Bronx County Criminal Courthouse in an attempt to kill them and shot and injured the CAC member who was driving the car. Deli Del committed this attack while acting in concert with fellow YGs and allied gang members. Deli Del tried to flee from the scene of the shooting but was caught and arrested shortly afterwards. For this offense, Deli Del pleaded guilty on or about June 17, 2015, in Bronx County Supreme Court to attempted murder, resulting in a sentence of nine years of imprisonment to be followed by five years of post-release supervision. On May 22, 2015, Rel fired gunshots at Chris, a rival member of the Bloodhound Brims gang, in front of a barbershop in the Bronx. He ended up seriously wounding him with a gunshot that went through one of Chris's testicles. For this offense, Rel pleaded guilty on or about June 25, 2015, in Bronx County Supreme Court, to attempted criminal possession of a loaded firearm. 
on or about February 19, 2016, while Delhi Dell and fellow YG's members Rel and Davong, aka Dollar, were detained together in the same housing unit at the MDC pending trial in this case. They assaulted a rival CAC member, Nathaniel, aka Juntao, who was also detained in their housing unit. In advance of the assault, Dollar had discussions with Delhi Dell and Rel, in which they decided to carry out and plan the assault on Juntao at the MTC. For example, in planning this attack on Juntao at the MTC, Delhi Dell and Rel said that they did not trust Juntao, and were concerned that Juntao would attack them because of what Delhi Dell and Rel had done to Juntao's fellow CAC member, Noah, and as a result, Delhi Dell, Rel, and Brooks agreed to preemptively attack Juntao. From this point, there has been many altercations between rival gang members in the prison system as well. Documents were seized from two YG members. It had code words for YG's members housed at the MDC, to use in communications with each other and others outside the MDC, and rank such YG's affiliated MDC inmates within the overall YG's gang. These documents list A ah, as one of the top seven YG's members currently housed at the MDC, and one of five YG's members classified as top spenders, which the documents define to mean overseers within the YG's gang. This is the second highest ranking below showstoppers, which the documents define to mean head gunners in charge. In September 2020, Chris, aka Yellow, got his life cut short. He was planning to go to Kali for his birthday in November, but he would be gunned down outside his building. Vietnam, they call it, the projects, Andrew Jackson houses. 23-year-old Yellow was sitting in the whip with another 26-year-old friend when the car was riddled with bullets. The front passenger window of the Honda HRV was shattered after the shooting outside of 3080 Park Avenue. The 26-year-old got shot multiple times and survived while Yellow received a head shot, which killed him. The alleged killers apparently boasted about the killing afterward on social media, family members said. Court documents allege that Day Day and Flock's younger brother provided a firearm to two other YG members, Ty and Kwemi before the murder. The three men met up about half a mile away after the killing, where Day Day gave one of the gunmen a ride home, court papers said. Day Day is also affiliated with the Drilly gang, but you know him from this video that has since went rival with Drill Rapper. B loves commentary. Anyway, the three are awaiting trial. Delhi Dell received 41 years, Ta received a little over 33 years, Rel, aka Tom Cruise, got 33 years, and Flock got 13 years. But this about wraps up the story though. If you didn't see the Mac Bowler OG story, go watch it, as it explains the crimes committed by them in between the events discussed in this video. But as always, stay low, and thanks for watching. Remember, everything is alleged until proven in court.